to follow along. Who is the Andros of Optina? We have him saying today, and we have this read. going to read it, we won't sing, just be simple, but if anyone wants to come up and read for a while, I'll be welcome that also. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us, amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fulfilling all things, treasury of blessings, source of life, come abide in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. The Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Chosen God, pleaser and wonder worker, great elder Ambrose, I praise the praise of Optina and all Russia, wondrous instructor, glorifying thy life of many labors. We offer to thee a hymn of praise as one who has kindness before the Lord for us, thy children, who with contrition cry out to thee. Rejoice, O Father Ambrose, godly wise teacher of faith and piety. So I'll move it a bit to the left or right. Imitating the angelic life, thou dost reject all the beautiful and fleeting things of this corruptible world, and dost direct thy steps to the spiritual teacher and clairvoyant, the lay elder Hilarion, that he might instruct thee on the path of true life and bless thee for the work of salvation. He, foreseeing thy future God-pleasing life, did send thee to Optina Monastery, and there thou dost find for thyself a good haven. Seeing such a preference of God for thee, we say to thee thus, Rejoice, God chosen offspring <coughs> of pious parents. <coughs> Rejoice, be loved. <coughs> Beloved of the Lord, from thy infancy, rejoice, zealous possessor of the wisdom of books from thy youth. Rejoice, thou hast known the spirit bearing teachings of the Holy Fathers. Rejoice, thou dost renounce the swiftly perishing goods of this world. Rejoice, unremitting hope of your corruptible treasures. Rejoice, seeker of God's will for the salvation of thy soul. Rejoice, thou dost receive a blessing for monastic path. Rejoice, O holy child of Ambrose, godly wise teacher of faith and piety. Seeing the good intention of thy heart, Christ did ordain the narrow and thorny path of thy salvation. When thou wast suddenly on the deathbed of infirmity, Thou dost make a vow to the Lord, if he would heal thee, to give thyself over entirely to the putting of monasticism. Having been raised up by the mercy of God from thy bed of sickness, thou dost straightway glorify the all-generous God, the physician of souls and bodies, crying, Alleluia. Having acquired understanding of the divine scriptures with fear of God, thou dost contemplate how the Lord would arrange the future path of thy salvation, and how thou dost embark upon the path of truly difficult and sorrowful monastic life. We are amazed at thy good intention. We praise thee thus. Rejoice, thou dost place all thy hope on the God of Prop, the Provider. Rejoice, thou dost seek for his goodwill alone. Rejoice, thou dost ready to bear any trial for salvation of thy soul. Rejoice, follower of the dictates of thy conscience. Rejoice, thou dost despise the pleasures of this world. Rejoice, thou dost move thyself entirely to work for God alone. Rejoice, thou. Just wish to please only him. Rejoice, O Father Ambrose, 
godly wise teacher of piety and faith. Can someone else read? Two. Rejoice, God-inspired instructor in all circumstances. 
Rejoice, diligent preacher of repentance. Rejoice, physician of bodily afflictions. Rejoice, healer of infirmities of soul. Rejoice, O Holy Father Ambrose, godly wise teacher of faith and piety. <clears throat> Wishing to follow Christ himself, thou did imitate him with all zeal, taking his yoke upon thyself in heaven, learn from him meekness and humility. Thus thou did find rest for thy soul, ever calling out, Alleluia. Thou was revealed as a new and wondrous star of holiness in the firmament of the church, when thou did ascend the spiritual ladder towards angelic perfection. Thou didst stretch forth the rays of thy love across the face of the whole Russian land, and thou didst draw to thyself the prominent and those of low estate, the wise of this age and the unlearned, all of whom cry to thee thus, Rejoice, thou city, standing upon a hill. Rejoice, illuminator, banishing the darkness of ignorance. Rejoice, thou healer of all infirmities. Rejoice, deliverer from the dangers and enticements of the enemy. Rejoice, consolation of the sorrowing. Rejoice, giver of drink to those thirsting in spirit. <clears throat> Rejoice, exposer of the falsely eloquent wisdom of this age. Rejoice, thou who did return many, who had gone astray to the true path. Rejoice, O Father Ambrose, Holy Father Ambrose, godly wise, teacher of faith and piety. Thou disappear as a wanderer and a stranger in the earthly world, a seeker after the heavenly city, and did bear the burdens and infirmities of thy neighbors who sought help of thee. And thus did thou fulfill the law of Christ, singing with thanksgiving, Alleluia. Entirely filled with the flame of divine love, thou didst bear the arduous, arduous, arduous cross of bodily sickness throughout thy holy Whole monastic life in patience, possessing thy soul, according to the words of the gospel of Christ, and did teach us all to bear our cross without murmuring, murmuring, crying out to thee. Rejoice, guide to those seeking salvation. Rejoice, image of true obedience. Rejoice, thou who did endure grievous infirmities <clears throat> to the end. Rejoice, teacher of patience, to those who came to thee in sickness and sorrow. Rejoice, goodly guardian of the souls of thy flock. Rejoice, feeder of those hungering for life eternal. Rejoice, protector of the offended. Rejoice, instructor of the will of God to the disobedient. Rejoice, O Holy Father Ambrose, godly wise teacher of faith and piety. By this experience on human nature and sickness and bodily infirmities, having crucified the flesh with the passions and lusts, and by unceasing prayer that it's drive off the attacks and temptations of evil spirits, and by this that it's teach all to oppose the wiles of the devil, crying out in the faithful, Alleluia. By the word of God, and by thy pure life, thou didst sweep aside the eloquence of the vain and wise, who knew not the power of the orthodox faith, and thou didst truly shine forth as a resplendent pillar of piety and a preserver of the tradition of the Holy Fathers, zealously transforming the ancient writings of the fathers into works easily, easy to comprehend. We marvel at thy labors cry, labors, cry out thus. Rejoice, thou adamant of the right faith. Rejoice, stronghold of the life according to the faith. Rejoice, planter of the spirit of piety. Rejoice, sower of Christian virtues. Rejoice, thou who didst progress in the labors of eldership. Rejoice, spiritual enlightenment of a multitude of monks. Rejoice thou who didst lead them to salvation. Rejoice thou who didst turn many sinners to repentance. Rejoice the Holy Father Ambrose, godly wise teacher of faith and piety. Assisting those seeking the kingdom of heaven to be saved, thou wast revealed to be a true God, directing them in mundane and spiritual things. And at the end of thy years, thou didst exert many labors, building the Shem Mordino monastery for those of low estate that the sisters would find rest for their souls and salvation, raising a song of praise, Alleluia. Thou wast a wall and a haven of thy spiritual children, preserving them from demonic delusion by thine untiring prayers. Thou didst arouse them to the unseen warfare with evil spirits, abolishing pride and ambition through humility. Therefore rejoicing we call to thee thus. Rejoice thou who didst extinguish the darts of the enemy. Rejoice conqueror of the regiments of the demons. 
Rejoice thou who didst set free those held captive by evil spirits. Rejoice thou who hast led many souls out of the prison of the passions. Rejoice thou who didst by thy love and prayers convert to God those gone astray. Rejoice, good guardian of orphans and widows. Rejoice, God-bearing builder of the guidance of monks and nuns. Rejoice, Melophias, preacher of meekness and humility of wisdom. Rejoice, Holy Father Ambrose, godly wise teacher of faith and piety. We offer unto thee the contrite hymn of speed, offer to all in need and sorrows. We turn to thee with faith and love. To the end of thy days, thou wast a child loving father of those suffering and overburdened who hope for consolation of soul. Therefore, God is truly glorified by them and wondrous in the saints who cry out unceasingly, Alleluia. All the ends of the earth see in thee a lamp of the virtues of our Father Ambrose, for thou didst end thy earthly wandering in patience and humility, and didst fulfill all that Christ commanded us in his holy teachings. And thou didst pass from earth to heaven, entering into the joy of thy Lord as a faithful servant of Christ. Therefore, rejoicing, we sing to thee thus, Rejoice, zealous servant, who didst fulfill the will of thy Lord. Rejoice, warrior of Christ, who didst abandon life's vanity. Rejoice, thou who didst serve God alone. Rejoice, fulfiller of all the commandments of God. Rejoice, thou who was made worthy of the heavenly habitations. Rejoice, thou who hast entered into the glory on high. Rejoice, inheritor of life eternal. Rejoice, thou all like praise, pleaser of God. Rejoice, O Holy Father Ambrose, godly wise, teacher of our faith and piety. Thou didst inherit the treasury of the grace of God that cannot be stolen, and didst find a quiet, serene refuge in the heavens. By the action of the knowledge of God, in the days of the celebration of one thousand years since the baptism of Russia, thou wast glorified and numbered among the choirs of the saints. Glorifying thy holy memory, we all sing Alleluia. Hymning thy glorification, we offer up to thee a sweetly scented incense, our humble prayers. Do not forget thy children who honor thy holy name and call out to thee in thanksgiving. Rejoice, O Ambrose, namesake of divine immortality. Rejoice, honorable praise of the Orthodox Church. Rejoice, partaker in the choir of the holy saints of God. Rejoice, sharer of the mystery of the assembly of the holy monastic fathers. Rejoice, our steadfast defender before the throne of the Most High God. Rejoice, our fervent intercessor before the judgment seat of God. Rejoice, guide of us who wander in this veil of tears. Rejoice, vigilant man of prayer for all the Russian land. Rejoice, O Holy Father Ambrose, godly wise teacher of faith and piety. As we received communion today, we won't be making prostrations. O wondrous saint of God and wonder worker, our holy elder Ambrose, receive now this small supplication from my unworthy children. Do not abandon us in sorrows and sicknesses, especially interceding for the grievously injured Brandy and his family, for the grievously injured Agnesca, her husband Patrick, especially for her surgeon doctor for a way to cure and heal her, Anna, for the suffering hospitalized uh, subdeacon Nicholas with his wife Nancy, for their health, restoration, and healing. For those who are suffering the approaching hurricane and those assisting others, the first responders for their safety and protection, wisdom, and guidance. Come and stretch forth thy helping hand, instruct us on the path of repentance so that we may be delivered from eternal torment. Through thee and the ever seen to God, glorifying our crying out. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O wondrous saint of God and wonder worker, our holy elder Amros, receive now this small supplication from thine unworthy children. Do not abandon us in our sorrows and sicknesses. Intercede for a sister Christine who is in pain and suffering, for Brandy for his recovery from his accident, for his wife and children, for the subdeacon Nicholas, his wife Nancy, who are both hospitalized, for Christina undergoing oral procedures, for Agnesca, who was grievously ill with her husband Patrick, for Dr. Anna, for their guidance, direction, and help for one another. For those who are suffering and in the path of the approaching hurricane, come and stretch forth thy helping hand, instruct us in the path of repentance, so that we may be delivered from eternal torment. Through thee, whoever glorified God, crying, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
wondrous saint of God, wonder worker, and holy father Ambrose, receive now this small supplication from thine unworthy children. Do not abandon us in our sorrows and sicknesses. Come and stretch forth thy helping hand. Instruct us in the path of repentance, so that we may be delivered from eternal torment through thee, who ever glorify God. And we may ever glorify God, crying out, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Imitating the angelic life, let us reject all beautiful and fleeting things of this corruptible world, and just direct thy steps to the spiritual teacher and clairvoyant, the El lay elder Hitlerian, that he might instruct thee on the path of true life and bless thee for the work of salvation. He, foreseeing thy future God-pleasing life, did send thee to Optino Monastery, and there thou dost find for thyself a good haven. Seeing such a providence of God for thee, we say to thee thus, Rejoice, God, a chosen offspring of pious parents. Rejoice, beloved of the Lord, from thine infancy. Rejoice, all possessor of wisdom of books from thy youth. Rejoice, thou dost know the spirit-bearing teachings of the Holy Fathers. Rejoice, thou dost renounce the swiftly perishing goods of this world. Rejoice, unremitting hope of incorruptible treasures. Rejoice, seeker of God's will for the salvation of thy soul. Rejoice, thou dost receive a blessing from the monastic path. Rejoice, O Holy Father Ambrose, godly and wise teacher of faith and piety. Chosen God, pleaser and wonder worker, great Ambrose, praise of Optina and all Russia, wondrous instructor, glorifying thy life of many labors, we offer to thee a hymn of praise. As one who has boldness before the Lord, pray for us thy children who with contrition of heart cry out to thee. Rejoice, O Holy Ambrose, Father, godly and wise teacher of piety and faith. O Lord our God, keep thy cities and, and uh, all the people in the path of this uh, approaching hurricane and all the countryside from ravages of this storm and its floods. Strengthen those who labor heroically to preserve life, live, and dwellings from destruction. Provide shelter to those whose homes may be destroyed or who are in uh, evacuation orders and are displaced from their homes. Cover them with the shadow of thy wings. Bless the children who are traumatized by this event and establish new and strong fraternal bonds between neighbors, both young and old alike. Refresh the hopes of the downtrodden, guard from despair those who have or may lose, lost, uh, lose loved ones, and whose earthly possessions may vanish in an untimely manner before judgment day through this horrific storm. Steady the hearts of the grieving, of the courage of the faint-hearted, uplift the bereaved and illumine with the light of the gospel, those who are mourning in darkness and without hope in Christ. Caused by thy divine grace, flowers to grow in the desert of natural disaster, bringing good out of tragedy. Hear us, O God our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and those who are far off upon the sea, be gracious, be gracious, O Master, upon us sins, upon our sins, and have mercy on us. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and we ascribe glory to thee, to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Look with thy merciful, compassionate eye upon those who are sick and suffering. For Anthony is paralyzed, his mother, Patty, under his, has uh, suffered a stroke. For their health, salvation, and raising up from their beds of pain and sickness. For James, suffering from an inoperable brain tumor, for all those for whom we have been asked to pray, by the prayers of the holy elder Ambrose whom we remember today, by the prayers of the Amphilopius and Job of Pochayev and all Ukraine and Bovin lands, especially have mercy upon Mother Mikhaila and the members of her monastic community, the Archimandre Alexander the Mogdana, whose monastery is being threatened, whose loss of their church is being threatened, that they may be guarded and protected by the holy angels by your merciful compassion so that all their endeavors for legal um, ownership of the church may be blessed, that they may have live sanctified lives, glorifying you with the Father who is without beginning, your most holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
consoling us in our sorrows of body and soul, teaching us above all, by humility, by your patience and love, pray to Christ, the Lord of mankind, our fervent intercessor, that our souls be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Having fulfilled the precepts of the shepherd of shepherds, thou dost inherit the grace of eldership. Having pity for all who run to thee with faith, therefore we thy children cry out to thee with love. Holy Father Ambrose, pray to Christ God, that he will save our souls. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Ambrose. Amphilochius, Job, and all those who remember today, all the, all the saints of Holy Land, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Lunch is ready. It's all on the table.